Okay, so today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to make the TV shutting off, switching off effect. So just quickly, here's what it will look like. Be awaiting orders. So yeah, that's what you'll be making. So yeah, just get started, get your footage and drop it in. Just like that. And you want to find the bit where you want your it to start kind of changing and going turning into an old TV so for example mine let's say it will be here and then you're going to want to split the clip then you want to get duplicate by holding control and dragging up or down so you've got a, a duplicate of the last bit and you want to drop it halfway along where your um ha halfway along here on this one. For now we'll just drop the pasty all the way down on that. So the first thing you want to do with the original one is to go into the event effects and get yourself the T V simulator there. Sony T V simulator double click it and press OK and as you can see up here that's what it looks like um, you're going to want to animate some stuff possibly it just depends on your preferences but to start with we want a bit of static uh, Yeah, we'll have a little bit of scan. Um, vertical sync, take it off. Not too much, we'll have it there. Line sync, we'll animate that. Um, everything else is pretty spot on, really. Alright, that'll do. And then we'll animate the line sync so it'll gradually get worse. So. Um, I don't know, like that. Whoops. That'll do. Um, so, yeah, that's that done. The next thing you want to do is halfway is where you're going to want to start shutting your screen down. And to do that, you go into the event pan and crop window here um, and make the, make it nice and big so it takes up the full, all the screen then the only ones you want on are well these two should already be on you're going to want to keep size about center on and take off make sure that lock aspect ratio is off um, yeah and size about center is on and then you want to add a keyframe so you should already be in the middle so as you can see here, the cursor is in the middle of the clip. Make sure here, down here, sync cursor is on, and then add a keyframe here. So that'll keep that'll keep the first half of your the video the same. And then you want to go one, two, three, four, four frames, and then you make this go all the way down to about there. So now it should look, be very uh, a small line in the middle of the screen. And then one, two, three, the end. You're going to want to zoom out. This bit's annoying. And then drag all the way, all the way along as much as you can. To the end, so that's as far as it will let me go. So that's that. That's that done. So now, if we look, it will change into the old TV, and then all of a sudden, it will shut down and get smaller until the end of the clip. Then, what this second um, 
piece is for is for um, adding kind of a light because a TV would an old TV they, they used to kind of shut down but then kind of give off a small amount of light so this you want the opacity to be around 50% grab to the event effects and go up to light rays double click it okay so the first thing you want is for bound radius to be checked you want to be at the start you want to animate um, and to start off with you want the um, X radius to be kind of all the way out and your Y radius to be quite far out because at the moment you're still full screen so now it should start where your screen starts to get smaller so if you go to the next keyframe it gets smaller and this is where you want your Y radius to come down to kind of match what your screen's doing next keyframe keep doing the same thing but now you want to start increasing the strength of your light rays next frame make sure you got animate on drop it down a bit further increase the strength next frame drop it almost all the way down increase the strength next frame so now that your Y is pretty much at zero you don't want it at exactly zero but nearly 0.02 now you're going to start bringing your X radius in and your strength back down again so bring it in bring it down next keyframe bring it in bring it down next down next in down next in all the way next all the way down so that's roughly it then you can make your clip shorter and if we see it again Butters. play it it shuts Butters. down but then I'll also provide this um, in the description this um, sound effect I guess yeah I'll put it in the description and then put it, you'll have to find out for yourself really put it where it starts to go fuzzy and switch off and it'll add a little bit extra to it Butters. switch it off like that there you go, so there's a TV switch off effect and yeah thank you for watching